Hey guys, Calgum here with another Ox Must Die 2 Five Skull Nightmare Mode video. Now, we're going for the standard oh, kill yeah. box for anyone that's watched my Ox Must Die 1 videos. Get our tar pit, brimstone up, barricade, barricade, and barricade. So, standard kill box, like I said, for anyone that's watched my Ox Must Die 1 videos. We will be putting floor scorcher here and those carts should add an extra hit into our combos we will be cutting it pretty close on part time for five skulls using this setup but it's pretty effective another build i actually use well in co-op with jason is we set our kill box up here at the top of the steps we barricade off everywhere but one staircase so, it's a little slow to set up because you don't actually get your traps down until wave 2 because all of wave 1, your money is being spent on getting all your barricades down. Pretty slow on wave 1 here, not that many orcs. And they do come down in small little groups. So, instead of staying back here to combo them, you probably could head up there and take them out and make it go by much quicker if you're worried about the tower so time. Cool. Yeah, let's get our arrow wall down. It will actually shoot them as they're on the brimstone. So if you are worried about combos, don't worry too much because they will get hit there. Lightning, as I said in the other video, it will summon the lightning cloud directly above you. Actually, the first time I played this map. I actually tried to set up two kill boxes, one on either side. Very, very ineffective, and you do get overwhelmed because you don't actually have enough to set up two kill boxes. So I ended up getting pushed back to the bridge every single time. So that's why on single player, I do use this classic kill box. I do prefer my co-op build here with Jason. It's way more fun it up here at the top of the stairs. Goes by so much quicker. Our combos were much higher. We got a pretty decent score. I think it gave us a top 50 score. I believe we were around 40th. So it's pretty good. And we could add more to it because... I think one or two of the traps we used in it weren't really adding to our combos. You know, they weren't really involved in the kill box that much. So, we feel like if we replace those two traps with something else, we could add an extra 20 plus thousand points to our score, which would put us into the top 20. So, it is a very effective kill box that we have do want to get down maybe I don't know two maybe three dwarves on this map and um, that'll be pretty much it so we're not worried about score just Let's do it again. killing them Keep it get down there three dwarves now also if you are worried about score this method can get you a decent score if you just let them all get to your Tar trap before you kill them. Also, the amount of money you have at the end of a stage oh, now counts towards your point more. score. Like, for example, I have 683 coin there. So, if I ended the stage with 683 coin, it would give me an extra 683 points into my score. So, for those of you that are worried about score, do keep that in mind. But for those of you who only want to get the five skulls, don't worry too much about it. And you can actually spend like more nice to get more rare. traps down just to kill them that much quicker. So I am going to place down more archers. Maybe more dwarves too. Because the part time on this map I think is only six minutes. So with this build we do cut it very close. 
right. should go by much quicker when we get down more. Killing season. But, uh, should have enough to get down another dwarf. Okay, just as usual, shoot their shields, make them drop the shield before they get to your kill box, make them die quicker. So we've only got yeah one minute to deal with this wave. So we get our dwarf down. Pretty quick. Uh, we've got 40 seconds to deal with the rest of them, but shouldn't be too hard. Again, pretty easy level. I mean, once you get your kill box set up, you've nothing to worry about here. All you really have to worry about, I suppose, cool. is killing them fast enough. You get a skull there, so that's pretty nice. I always use more skulls because it can get pretty annoying in this game, constantly having to respec your character, refund the skulls, and change up your build for every level. Which I have been doing a lot. Now, how many was that? So I actually nah, only beat cares? the part time there by three seconds. So like I said, you are cutting it very close with this build. So we got our five skulls. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.